Well, in the uh, interest of uh, deciding what motor we're going to use, um, I'm at a little bit of a standstill on my front suspension at the moment. But uh, I decided I'm going to check this motor and see if it runs. Uh, I did check and it does have spark. So that means all it needs is a little fuel. The gas tank I took off wasn't hooked up anyway. Give a little shot of spark fluid here. Got one bolt holding it down. Close the choke maybe would help. Well, I guess that's a yes. It does run. So that's the motor I'm planning on using going ahead. 8 horsepower Tecumseh. Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and I've got an update on the Goofy Cart. Uh, another one, you saw me starting the motor, uh, getting it to fire anyway. I didn't intend to get it running, just to make sure it would fire and it would run. Uh, and I have been working on my front axle. And I have split it in half and narrowed it. I haven't welded it back together yet. But you have the two pieces here, and I wanted to show you the change that I am making in my axle setup. This is the original way I had it set up, uh, with these spindle bosses being welded directly to the axle. And the problem with that is that in doing that, uh, it required that with my shaft going down through here, and my, where is my piece here? And these things being on the inside, I haven't shaved these down because they're not going to get used now. But with these being in here, the problem that I would have is with my steering link, it could only turn so far back before it would hit here. So I have changed it around and I'm actually going to put like kingpin bosses and these were made out of an axle uh, end and they had bushings on both ends and I've cut the length that I needed off and there's copper bushings like that that will be used that will slide right down inside there and we'll still be using the same uh, one inch shaft if I can get it on here, that one's a little bit dinged up. There, still be using the same uh, shaft for my kingpin, but now instead of my kingpin and stuff rotating inside here, my kingpin will be going down through here, and then my spindle boss will be mounted on the outside like this so that I will have as much swing as I need. And that becomes very important. Let me just set that on there. Just to give you an idea, my uh, axle will be welded onto here, or my spindle will be welded onto there. And this becomes very important to have sufficient swing because with this setup, there is no way, whoops, there is no way that I could put a pitman arm on there because the pitman arm with the kind of steering I need would have to go back this way and that, that would be impossible with this setup. So now with this, this is more like a regular Ford uh, front suspension from well from Model T all the way up until like 1948 they use the basic same setup um, with a straight axle on the front end. But now, all I have to do is weld this piece on the back for my steering arm and one of these off to this side and I can put them either top or bottom, it doesn't matter, for my tie rod. And uh, there's no, nothing to interfere because this is all outside of the axle itself, above or below. I could actually put my um, 
tie rod uh, link down here at the bottom if I wanted to and have it swinging. The only thing it would interfere with would be the axle itself back here. And with the amount of swing that I would get, I would still get a lot of swing before it would ever touch the axle, you know. So that's what I'm doing, and uh, I'm changing it around. I'll show you. I've just finished welding it, so it's still rather warm. But uh, this pipe here is thicker than the one that I was going to be using before. Plus, it's going to have the copper bushings in there, uh, so it'll be nice and smooth. And uh, I have started cleaning up my welds a little bit. Well, you can see there's a lot of, whoops, keep it up there, a lot of spatter still. And I've got more grinding to do across the top here. Let me back up. More grinding to do across the top here and around the bottom. And uh, because this tube is smaller in diameter than this one, and no, I didn't get it lined up perfectly in the middle, that's all right as long as I get both sides the same. Um, this will be the front side, the side that you'll see the most looking at it from the front. And, uh, but with this being smaller, I actually had to put a piece of filler in here before I started doing my welding. And I'm probably going to run another bead of weld down here so I can make this nice and smooth. And uh, this side here won't be too bad once it's cleaned up. I might still have to run one more bead, just a filler bead, because it, it won't uh, be needed for the uh, structure of it. So yeah, that's where we're headed with that. And uh, I putzed around out here. I, I, once I get my other axle half set up like this, I'll probably have to stop a little bit on my front axles because um, I need a, a three-quarter inch um, drill bit, which I don't have at the moment, but I have some stuff for sale on eBay. Let me tip you back up here. Woo! I have some stuff on eBay that should provide enough funds to buy a three-quarter inch drill bit. Most people have half inch, up to half inch, and that's what I have, up to half inch. And I actually have a step drill that goes up to one inch, but in trying to, uh, well, I could show you. I was trying to drill this one out and get it up to three quarter inch right here. See, I've got the half inch on this side. and But the uh, step drill ain't going to hack it, not trying to drill through quarter inch steel and I got to do it four times so uh, yeah it's it's uh, bought the farm as far as this goes so that's uh, another thing we have to take care of also wanted to show you that I have a new seat for the uh, goofy cart uh, it's just sitting in there actually the pieces are separated they're not nothing's hooked together at the moment uh, but that's uh, basically how it's going to go something like that and uh, those came off of a recumbent exercise bicycle which i picked up off of craigslist for free and i've tore it all apart and this is basically all i'm going to use off of it but uh, you know nice black leather and they're in great shape no tears on them so uh, that'll take care of our upholstery for inside the goofy cart. So that's our update for today. Um, lots more to come. Thanks for watching and commenting and for subscribing. And speak of subscribing, um, Mr. Heavy Chevy gave me a shout out on his channel over the weekend. And as a result, I got... Uh, over a dozen new subscribers which put me over the 1500 subscriber mark which means we're going to be having a giveaway here before too long and um, I'm I'm raising some fun tickets for shipping for those things 
So I'm guessing probably in another week or so we will announce that giveaway. So until then, or until, no, not until then, until our next update, maybe tomorrow or the day after, who knows. This is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Gotta check out these headlight buckets. How cool is that? Setting right up on front of the goofy cart. Woo! Stainless steel, too. Cool, man. Cool.